Hedra is an AI tool that plans to do a lot of things, but right now what it's doing, and doing pretty well at, is lip sync. Let's take a look. To get going, we head over to the Hedra website and we click the button that says Try Beta. Then you'll see this button that says Sign In to Use, click that rascal, and it looks to me like the only option right now is to sign in using Google. Easy enough, select your Google account, do the confirmations and the continues, and then it'll pop you back into Hedra, where you'll see this acknowledgement that says you accept the terms of service, the privacy policy, that you do not live in Illinois, Texas, or Washington. Apparently, residents of those states are not allowed to use the services, and that you are over 18 years of age. The terms of service and the privacy policy are both links, so if you click on either one of those, you'll be able to read through those documents. They're delightful. Now, when we pop back over to the home page and we click Try Beta, it'll bring up this generation screen with three panels. On the left, we have the audio panel. In the middle, we have the character. And then on the right, we have the video, or I would call it the preview panel. Or maybe you could say audio plus character equals video because those are the two elements that we need. We need the audio, either we can generate it here by typing in the text or the script, pick a voice from the dropdown and let it generate the speech, or we can import the audio by switching over to the import audio option and you can bring in audio that you've already created. Then on the character panel, you need a face the face that's going to be speaking the audio that you picked over in the audio panel. You can drag and drop an image that you already have, you can paste from your clipboard an image that you already have, or you can just describe your character in this text box down here and click create and it'll generate the image of the face for you. Once you've got the audio and the character that you want, now it's time to put them together. You just click generate video and see what you get. So the first thing I want to try is letting it generate the audio. So I'm going to put a script in, and my brain's not coming up with anything good, so I went over to ChatGPT and told it to write me something short and funny. I know, ChatGPT is not good with humor, but this is what it gave me, so I just copied that and pasted it in here. Now, the next logical step might be to select a voice for this, but I want to see what the face is going to look like before I pick the voice that should go with it. So I'll go over here in the character panel and I'll start describing a character and it pops up and wants me to agree and continue and it says that no image video or other media that I upload will contain images of any individuals other than myself. That's weird. And I have read, understand, and consent to the header privacy policy terms of use and acceptable use policy. Well, unfortunately, I did read those policies. It doesn't make sense to me that I'm not allowed to upload an image of anyone other than myself. I get that they don't want you to upload images of other real live people or celebrities or whatever, but I think I should be good to create non-existent characters. Anyway, I'm going to check the I agree box and click continue. All right, now I also had ChatGPT give me a description of a character for this funny line. And I'm just gonna make a couple of little edits here. All right, there we go. Now let's see what the settings button down here does. Let's see, we can add a negative prompt. I don't really think I need to do that. Or we can use a manual seed. I don't have a seed to use yet because I haven't generated anything here. And we can auto crop image. I guess that makes sense. We'll leave that checked as it is by default. What do these other buttons do? Well, we've got the dice here so we can randomize a prompt. This that looks like a refresh button says randomize seed. Maybe that's how we uh, regenerate a different image. We have the guide. Let's just create. All right, so here's the image that it came up with. Uh, I guess that looks like a guy that would be griping about Mondays. Now let's go look at the voice here. I won't bore you with playing through all these voices, and there aren't really a lot. I don't, maybe there's you know, six or ten here, but I'm going to go with this Todd Universal Crossover American Male. Select that. And then I'm going to try this button that looks like a refresh button that says Randomize Seed and see if it'll get me a different image, because this guy's okay, but not, not totally. Yeah, see, this guy. This guy is the one that would be griping about Mondays. I like him. All right, so then let's come over here on this video panel and click Generate Video. And for everything we do today in this video, I'm going to shrink up that generation time. We're not going to sit here through all the generation. So if I forget to put a message up on screen, just know that for all the generations, I've either fast forwarded or cut out most, if not all of the generation time. And we've got our guy here and hopefully he's going to be lip syncing. Let's see.
Oh, great. Another Monday. Just what I needed. Said no one ever. Wow. That's pretty impressive. He really got into what he was saying. The way he blinked, his eyes changed. He was moving his head. His whole face was moving. That was pretty good. That's way better than I've seen lip sync anywhere else. A lot of them, just the lips move, and it's pretty, it's really obvious. I'm not saying this is perfect, but that's really good. All right, let's try something a little bit different. For this one, we used Hedra's text-to-speech, and we used their image generator, and let it combine. I want to try to bring in stuff from the outside. So let's go over to Eleven Labs. I'm going to grab some audio from there. I won't bore you with the whole creation process. Just going to download the file from Eleven Labs. And then I'm going to go over to Leonardo and I'm going to grab an image, download that, and go back to Hedra. On the audio panel, we need to switch that from generate audio to import audio because we're going to be importing our audio. And then I will drag in that file that we created in Eleven Labs and now drag in the image created in Leonardo. Click the generate video button. All right, it's ready. Let's hit play and see what we have. This suit may look exquisite, but it's really tight and it itches. Maybe I should have worn underwear. That is pretty wild. It's not just the mouth movement. It gets the head, the eyes, and even the upper body into it. Now, I didn't use my voice for that one. I used another voice off Eleven Labs. So it's sort of weird seeing someone that looks a lot like me talk in a completely different voice than I could ever pull off. But that was crazy, man. That was wild. I'm going to replay that one. Just watch all the subtleties in the face and the head and everything else and the eyes. This suit may look exquisite, but it's really tight and it itches. Maybe I should have worn underwear. The clothes and the eyes at the end and the way the, the character here is using his head to like punctuate points. Uh, this is crazy. I really like that. All right, so let's see what's what around here. I'd hate to have some feature that I didn't know existed because it was behind a button that I never bothered to click. So if we click the three dots up on the right of the preview panel here, those just open up options to report copyright or report unacceptable. So I guess if the generation you get violates some copyright that you're aware of or it violates their terms or whatever, then that's where you would tell them about that. If we click the share button below the generation, we have a toggle for private. And if we click that toggle to share, then we get this URL to the video we just created. And we can copy that by clicking this little copy icon to the right of the URL. And then you could paste it, I guess, in a text message or social media or whatever you do. All right, let's go ahead and scrap this audio. And I'm going to go over to Eleven Labs and grab a different audio. I've got an idea for like a maybe a reporter at a news desk or something, an anchor, I guess you call that. All right, so grab that, bring that in. And then let's go over to Leonardo. I'm going to whip up an image using character reference so that it looks like my ugly mug as the news anchor. Again, speeding up all generations here. These things do not work quite this fast. I don't want to mislead you. I just don't want to waste your time waiting for things to generate in this video. So we'll grab this hideous fella here, click download on that. Come back into Hedra and drag him in. Good grief, look at those teeth. Looks like somebody tiled a bathroom or something. All right, and generate. All right, it's ready to go. Breaking news from the world of science today. You are not the center of the universe. Yeah, I came up with that line all by myself. ChatGPT isn't that humorous. As far as the lip syncing goes, this is pretty good. I'm not saying it's perfect, but my beef with most lip syncing features, tools, whatever, is that it just moves the mouth and everything else stays stiff and rigid. And this definitely fixes that problem. I see a little bit of fuzziness there and I see that you can tell from my original image to the lip sync, it softened this mustache, it changed it a little bit, which is okay because that crazy thick dark thing isn't normal. But I guess that could be a problem if you need the lower face to be exactly what's in your source image. But for me, I don't have a problem with it. I think it did pretty well. And we're not, it's not using the same motions or movements every time either. The blinking in this one is very different than the blinking in the last one. And even the mouth movement is very different. So it seems to be able to try and hone in on what kind of emotion it should have and act accordingly. I'm digging that so far. All right, now I want to try something really wild. And for this, 
I'm gonna go over to Suno AI. I wanna generate a song, and then I'm gonna see if I can get my character to lip sync sing the song. So the prompt I just put in is blues song about watching a terrible play. And my idea, corny as it may be, is I wanna use an image of Abe Lincoln, and I wanna see if I can get Abe Lincoln to sing this song. So we'll hit create on that. After these songs created, I played through and listened to them. I picked the one that I liked best and I went ahead and downloaded it from Suno. And then I also shortened it up because when we go back to Hedra to upload audio, it'll say that anything longer than 30 seconds might get shortened. And my thought process on that is I would rather shorten something up myself to pick the 30 seconds I want rather than who knows what 30 second segment the AI would pick out of it. So I shortened that up to 30 seconds. And I also managed to lose the screen recording. So you just have to trust me on that, that I uploaded this thing from Suno after I cut it down to 30 seconds. And in the character prompt box in Hedra, I typed in a portrait of Abraham Lincoln wearing sunglasses. And I apologize that I managed to lose my screen recording of setting that all up, but I think you get the idea of how this is working. It's audio plus image and generate. So take a look at what I came up with. That's incredible. I've never used Suno before uh, trying it for this little project here. Uh, I think it did a great job. Yes, I know Suno is being sued as well as the other big one. Who knows what the future is for any of that. But right now, I was able to generate that. And I got Abe Lincoln singing the blues about going to a terrible play. And his movements were just really interesting. There was a funky little lip thing going on there in the beginning which is either a bug or it's really authentic, one of the two. I don't know, it wouldn't bother me. Hedra right now is completely free. It is free, 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 no charge, no place to even put your credit card. It's a research project at the moment. As with all of these other AI tools, I strongly suspect that there will come a point where it will no longer be free and I would guess it's gonna be a subscription model. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But right now it's totally free and there don't appear to be any limits at all. You can lip sync as many lip syncs as you want. There is a watermark on the output. That's not the end of the world for me. And right now it is only generating in this square format. You can't change that to landscape or vertical or anything else. This is all you get is this resolution, this square format. But for the price being free and the fact that it is really getting some movement into the rest of the face and body instead of just moving lips. I think this is pretty darn cool. I tried to show you a few different examples of how it might be used. I'll leave links to everything I use today down in the description. I am an affiliate for Eleven Labs and Leonardo. So if you end up going with some kind of a paid service with either one of those after following my link, I may receive a small commission and I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. But listen, you don't have to use any of those tools. I just use them for this project because I use them, I have them, and I like them. But you can record your own audio or use any audio service you want, or just type the script in here in Hedra and let it generate your audio for you. And as far as images, you don't need Leonardo to lip sync images here in Hedra either. You can generate the images right within Hedra and it won't cost you a dime. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.